Hello everyone, this is me Yaman Kumar and this video is powered by Way2Y Tech. Now we, were, now we will discuss about variables, data types, constants, keywords, comments, rules for writing, C program and more. First of all, what are variables? Variable is simply name given to memory location which act as placeholder or container for storing the data. It may help you to it may help to think of variables as a container for a value. So what is a variable? Variable is a container. So this is a container which act as placeholder, which will act as placeholder to store any data. This is a container which is acti acting as a space for storing any data. We can store any data in the variables. A variable have a name. This is the name of the variable and uh, this is the value of a variable and this is the address of the variable. Like we are having the addresses in the house every variable also have address in the memory this is the unique memory address or you can say the location number of the variable so a variable is pointing to address 1566 and it's storing the value 100 so I repeat the definition variable is a name given to memory location this is a memory location and we have given name a to this location and this look this location is acting as placeholder acting as a container to store data we are storing value 100 in this placeholder now the question comes what will be the size of this placeholder and what type of data this placeholder can store this will be determined by data type we can store variables in our computer memory we will store the variables these variables will be stored in the computer memory since each type of data take different amount of memory like different type of data take different amount of memory integer takes generally 2 bytes decimal number takes 4 bytes single character take 1 byte so we see every every different type of data take different memory spaces so we we need to define how much how, uh, what will be the size of our container what will be the size of the variable and what type of data our variable will be storing this will be determined by the data type so we have to tell the computer about type of data we are going to store in our variables so we will be using data types to tell our computer that we will be storing int numbers we will we will be storing decimal numbers or we will be storing characters according to this computer will allocate the memory if we are storing the characters computer will allocate one byte generally and and if we are storing the integer numbers computer will allocate normally two bytes depending upon the computer architecture uh, if we are storing the float numbers computer generally allots four bytes now we see type of data types used in C programming there are the various data types generally we categorize into three categories these are the predefined or inbuilt data types derived data types user defined data types what are the predefined data types these data types are inbuilt these data types are inbuilt means these data types have uh, are given by are given to us from C itself we didn't we need not to define these data types we need need not to make these data types these are predefined or inbuilt example of care int float double we will discuss all these next is derived data type these data types are inherited from the predefined data types using these data types we define some other data types. example are array pointer etc next is user defined data types this is user will define his or his or her own data type these are created by the user for his or her purpose so user defined data types are created by the user for his or her own purpose like if user want, need no sometimes user need to create his or her own data type on the uh, in those cases he, he or she will be using user defined data types example are type type def enum struct union we will discuss these all in the coming videos so data types three types uh, primitive Predefined data types are also known as pre primitive data types, derived data types, user defined data types. Primitive are like for example care, int, float, double, void. Derived data types are array, pointer, function. User defined data types are enum, structure, union. We will be discussing all these in the coming videos. Currently, we will discuss all these data types. So, first, we will be discussing the predefined data types. Predefined data types include Boolean, character, integer, floating point double floating point valueless white white character for boolean we will be using bool keyword for character care integer int 
floating point float these are the floating points are referred to decimal numbers like 7.5 it is a decimal number we will say it as floating point double double is also a floating point number but the range is high value value less wide wide character w care underscore t so we will discuss these some of the some of the predefined data types first of all care the keyword used will be care how many memory space it will require one byte range is minus 128 to 127 this format we will discuss later integer they are denoted by end memory requirements are two bytes range is minus 3 to 768 to 3 to 767 float these are known as decimal numbers uh, for this the keyword will be float memory requirements are four bytes the range is minus 3.4 into e, e the power 38 to 3.4 into e the power 38 double these are also the decimal numbers but the size the memory requirements are double it is float is taking 4 bytes it is taking 8 bytes the range is minus 1.7 into e the power 308 to 1.7 into e the power 308 long integer these are similar to integer but their range is double like integer take 2 bytes it will take 4 bytes and range will also be more here range is this value these we will, we will discuss later the main inbuilt data types are these care int float double these are the main inbuilt data types these we will be discussing later long unsigned these things we will discuss later later on next come the character set what is a character set every character is assigned a unique number called the character set in c or any any other language generally we assign a character to every alphabet like a b c d e f all these characters are also given some alphabet all, uh, all these characters are also given some numeric value like small a is, is given the numeric value 65 similarly small b is given the value 66 why these values are given these values are given if you, if you have to apply some operation on the characters like if you have to add two characters you have to add a plus b so the resultant will be the addition of the numeric values of a plus numeric value of a right? the numeric value of a is 65 as i told you the numeric value of b is 66 and what will a plus b it will be the 66 65 plus 66 what are the uh, there are the different types of character set as like one of the character set is a sky character set american standard code for information interchange Similarly, there is a uh, Unicode character set, but C uses a Sky character set. Here, lowercase, uppercase characters, lowercase means small a to small z, uppercase capital A to capital z, special symbols, dollar, minus, plus, all, all these are special symbols, digits 0, 0 to 9, have assigned a unique integer value. Every alphabet of English, only uh, here the drawback is only English is used, but some languages use, use Unicode, in the, in the Unicode, mapping of all the characters has been done hindi punjabi english you can use any type of language in unicode but in a sky code you can only use english language total characters are 256 range is minus 128 to 127 this means like total characters are 256 but the numbers they have been assigned are including from the range minus 122 to 127 like i told you as i told you a small a is given number 65 capital is given the number 97 here limitation is only English is used and next are the identifiers so why identifiers are used identifier is a simply name given to your variable class union structure function etc we have discussed the variables what are the variables these are these are the name given to memory location so we have to give some name to a memory location so for giving the names there are some rules like we have to give name to memory location the definition of variable is name given to memory location we checked as placeholder to store data so what will be the name what are the rules to write the to write the names these the names are known as identifiers we can give, give names to our class variable union structure etc we will be discussing these in next videos currently we will be discussing the rules for identifiers but means rules for giving the names as we are having names similarly variables are also having the names what are the rules for creating the valid names first of all an identifier can be any combination of alphabets digits and underscore 
and in the and in the identifier can only be combination of alphabets small a to small z capital a to capital z digits 0 to 9 and underscore no other character can be used except these neither spaces nor special symbol other than underscore can be used only underscore is a special symbol that can be used any other special symbol we cannot use it wouldn't begin with a digit we see some examples then we will understand better like these are the list of valid variables these are the list of invalid variables so first of all, first of all we will see the invalid variables why this is invalid because it is starting with digit so why this is invalid a space b space cannot in be included in the identifiers 5 a 6 similarly it is again containing the digit in the starting hello question mark question mark cannot come in the identifier name hello space hi space cannot come in the identifier name a 9 b dollar dollar cannot come in the identifier name because because only underscore is the special symbol that come that can come in the identifier name so these are the list of valid variables uh, identifiers a underscore it is not starting with a digit and only containing underscore as a special symbol underscore a not starting with starting with the digit and not containing any other special symbol other than underscore a56 uh, doesn't contain the digits in the starting hello it's also correct hello underscore hi only underscore is the special symbol which is containing a 9b containing 9 in the between in between not containing 9 in the starting so these are the valid identifiers these are the invalid identifiers thanks for watching the video please like our facebook page www.facebook.com slash gateway tech my facebook id is fb slash amankumar29 please like subscribe share our video do comment in the comment section if you have any doubt thanks have a nice day